Hi everyone, it's Matt Thompson here from Glen Guy Sphere 2 cohort. I have uh, Bram, one of the other apprentices here, uh, joining me. Bram, do you just want to let people know uh, a bit about yourself and where you're from? Oh, I'm from the Netherlands, as you can hear from the name. And, uh, um, well, I'm also in Glen's Sphere 2 Arcanum uh, group, and I'm looking forward to 20 images. <laughs> yes. Yes, so for those uh, listening at home, um, I have 20 images that Brahm's going to help me work down to a final 12 that I take through to Glenn for a final critique. So without further ado, I will start the screen share. And Brahm, you should start seeing that soon. Yeah. Cool. So what it's I'll do is... of yellow. Yes. It's a canola field. What I'll do is I'll just flick through. I'll spend about five or ten seconds on each image, and we'll go through that a couple of times, and then, um, you know, uh, you'll pick out some that you obviously like and think are keepers that we and ones that we need to to um to throw away, and then we might have to have some that we look through in a bit more detail. So I'll, mm. uh, I'll start a bit of a slideshow now. So it's the first one. It's the second. Let's try. There it goes. There we go. Okay, and I think that's it. That's all 20. Mm. Sorry about some of those. They were a bit slow to render, but um, mm -hmm. yeah, we've, mm -hmm. we've got the images there now. Um, so, yeah, did you want me to, to go through them again? Is there any that you um, picked out straight away that uh, you think uh, should be on the chopping block? Uh, well, I found one. Mm -hmm. That's probably why I was taking slow. I was in develop mode. That's why. Uh. It's the 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 ninth one. It's the, uh, number nine. This one. Yeah, that one. Cool. Yeah. Delete. So yeah, I was initially thinking of um, I've just got it in a collection here, so that's why I'm just uh, deleting it at random. It's not getting rid of the the full mm -hmm. one. But um, yeah, these are all shot this year from just around. Around Victoria, so around my state um, mm -hmm. where I live. Um, and initially, I was thinking of just doing sunsets, sunrise type stuff, but I 
kind of liked a couple of the other shots in there. And then there was the night shots as well too. So I thought I'd just uh, mix it up a bit. Yeah. What's, what kind of uh, series do you want to produce? I, yeah, I was, I, was, I was trying to work that out. And I, I thought initially I was going to just go like sunrise sunsets and stuff. But I, I think yeah. I've just chosen and just tried to group it as um, images from country Victoria, basically. So um, oh, okay. most of them are from, from inland Victoria. There's about three that are from the coast. Um, yeah. So, yeah, so it's just more country yeah or, or within a few hours of where i live basically where these shots are taken hmm. Hmm. well the one i really like is number 16. this one, that one yeah i like it yeah you can see the detail in the beneath the waves yeah in the rock pool there, the, yeah. the rock formation yep i thought that was pretty cool when i when i got that out that was a hdr shot that i took Mm. Did you use a polarizer? Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, I would have used the circ pole on that. But on that's really. Lovely. Let me just change. I'll just label it green as well too, so that we can. Uh, <laughs> so then I can find the uh, the the ones that are definitely in and the ones that you really like. <laughs> yeah. Um, thinking of. Hmm. But it's such it's such a contrast between the the, the sunset shots and yeah. the colorful shots, and then you have the the Milky Way shots, which are uh, quite dark, as opposed yeah. to the other ones, which are really light. So, it's, it's yeah, I thought of I thought, and I had um, I kind of used this uh, building shot as kind of a transition um, when I was kind of uh, sequencing and them myself to kind of go yep okay we've gone from a few sunset shots to a sunset shot with a building and then to kind of a shot with the milky way in the building just to um try and tie it in a little bit there but yeah, yeah. i and, and maybe that's part of it that maybe i look at excluding the milky way shots but um but i was keen to try and at least sneak yeah, one point shot in really, there so really amazing those milky way shots you can really see, especially in the the first one. Yeah, yeah, and there's a couple yeah. others that I decided to to not include. Um, but it may be another tie-in point. Oh, I think I shared it on the cohort, but uh, did I have that down here as an alternative shot? No, I didn't even do that. Uh, bear with me a second. I am just trying to. Number fifteen mind. is quite nice of these. <laughs> <laughs> that one. <laughs> yeah. Well, that, that that was the same lake. That is. Uh, so same lake, same trees. That is. This shot. So, but it's just yeah. me standing in the in the trees in the middle of the night. Mm. Um, I might keep that as a. Supposed to help me cut them down. I've got to sort through my messy. <laughs> <laughs> got to sort through my messy um, sorting. I'm going to make big problems. <laughs> so, <laughs> this was the other night one that I really liked. Um, mm -hmm. That I thought of potentially. Uh, uh, don't do that. Let's drag it in here in the alternative things. So this is one that Brown likes as well. So this is I mm -hmm. thought another. Um, way I could potentially tie in some night shots is if I had, why is it not moving? Uh, With the yellow of the field. Yeah. And it's actually the same field and the same, oh. Oh, excuse the zoom. It's the same field and same uh, windmill. Yeah. Just in, I managed to jump in the field. <laughs> oh, I did get access. I, I did find out who the farmer was. I don't like, going on people's property at night um get a bit worried about you know people with shotguns yeah. and things even in australia mm -hmm. oh yeah country oh. They, hmm. they don't have don't have automatic weapons anymore but um you know shotguns and things <laughs> <laughs> so yes because yeah. there's a picture the the first one is really lovely as well although i must admit that the the, the um, 
you know the color mm. the yellow and the blue and then you have the windmill mm -hmm. uh, uh, what distracts it distracts from the image is that the, the foreground is quite fuzzy yes yeah this was um i was actually a long way into the field and so this was probably taken yeah no i've done a pan panoramic shot but i think i was at 200 mil and um was trying to get into the field a little bit so that's why the foreground's a bit out of focus yeah, 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 yeah. because all the other photos you have everything is in focus yeah true yeah, apart from there but yeah this one's totally in focus everything mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. only in the first one you have you have selective focus and the, the yes. rest is entirely in focus yeah i never thought of that never considered that <laughs> So that's, hmm. but I'm supposed to. Uh, I'm supposed to help you cut them down to <laughs> twelve. Not yes. Oh, reasons no. why. <laughs> it's good to give me other things to think about too, though. So yeah. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. It's so difficult because it does tie in with number nineteen. Yes. Yeah. These two. Yeah. And then again, and this is, you know, I'm not supposed yeah, to tell the story tree. as much. It's the same tree that, that's there at night. Hmm. <laughs> well, as a theme throughout the whole of your image, you have one single object, which is contrasting with the sky or with, or you have a reflection. Mm-hmm. So, if you want, to, if you could select around that theme, you yeah. could easily, I think, bring it back back down to twelve. Back down. So, like, then you can uh, four, five, six, uh, twelve, fourteen, nineteen, twenty, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Mm -hmm. and then you, I think, although it's, you can easily. Makes a match, or yeah. you know, not mix a match, but it's it's around the same thing of a single object in the against the sky or against the water. Yep. Um, but that would exclude your photos of your Milky Way. The Milky Way, quite light. Although, <laughs> although this one does have the same that, thread. Yeah. That one's kind of got the same thread there through that. So. Yeah. Yeah, that, that is true. Yeah, maybe that's something I make a note of. Um, but that would exclude number 13, I think, and even 18, yeah. which are both on itself quite pleasing photos, and 8 as well. Yes, yeah. And I really like eight as a as a as a single shot, but it's within a within a group. With, yeah, within a group, it's difficult to tie them in unless you go only building, which you have. Yeah, not not enough yeah, of, and and that's three, yeah. yeah, that's where when I started to to build it out or I culled it down from a larger list, I was thinking you know <laughs> sunrise sunsets, but wanted to include more. Um, and I thought you know the transition from this shot to then a building with the milky way it's um mm -hmm. had a different uh time of day obviously but uh had the same kind of subject or or object to kind of help tie it in yeah that is true but then you're left with <laughs> three <laughs> yes yeah exactly yeah mm. <laughs> Are there any favorites of yours in this 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 list which you really want to put there, in? Or? There is, there is. I really like these two. These two. Mm -hmm. um, I agree. So they're they're kind of from a daytime or sunset type stuff. They're they're probably my favorite. Mm -hmm. um, I really like 
this one, but I'm struggling to fit it in with the theme. And it's yeah. partly because it's a, it took me three goes to actually get this shot. So that's why I'm kind of tied to it. But um, yeah. <laughs> it doesn't, doesn't fit in with the others. It's a 30 image panorama stitched. So um, <laughs> took took me getting out into that field three times in the yeah. middle of the night to, to get it. It's the effort that's, that, that you feel when you would cut it. Yep, exactly, exactly. The the thing that would hurt. Um, yeah. <laughs> hmm. so I agree with four or five yeah. and six. I yep. would, those three are really nice. Yeah, I quite like the way that six came up. And these these uh, three shots are all taken at the same lake, um, same hmm. location, as is these two shots. So 14 and 15 are again taken at that same lake. So that is actually the same same log as the yeah. as that shot there. But, uh, I did oh, want to know. I um. I you, you, yeah, you see the ripples in the water here. Yes, yeah. That was one that I wasn't standing still enough for because <laughs> I wading into this water in gum boots that are up to your ankles. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one, two, three, four, and and sixteen. That one didn't render when you went through them. You didn't yeah, sorry, them. I, I did see some of them were struggling to render, so I, I tried yeah. to go back. Dumb. Seeing what how it looks now. Hmm. Again, you can see the detail the, the mm, in the water, in the rock pools. Yeah. And some birds. But that's a, that, that does have a different feeling from the others. It, it does. And yeah, part of it, I don't know if it's because it's the ocean um, instead of where these others were at the lake. So this was um, taken down at the beach. Mm -hmm. So that was my other thought that if I was to kind of exclude the ocean, images then that kind of takes 16 17 and 18 out but um you know they're all i like them all for different reasons probably 16 is yeah. my least favorite of the three i would agree because it has less of an ethereal feel while mm. the others do have that uh how would you say it's really quiet only the reflection no ripples yep and 16 does have a lot of ripples and a lot of texture in the bottom of the uh, sea bottom. Yeah, bottom. in the sea, in the sea there. Yeah. yeah. Oh well, let's let's be brave. Let's uh, let's cut 16 then. <laughs> Delete. <laughs> right, working it back down again. Only 19. <laughs> well, that's because I added this one in. That's because I. So yeah, yeah. you did. Mm. Look, let's get rid of it. You... Let's let's be bold. Let's. Wow. <laughs> uh, by the very wait. same nature, I would also call number two. Yeah. Although it's really lovely, it does have that. The. You can imagine. You can see what it is, and whilst mm. and yeah, with the others, you have to. Mm, more abstract. Yes. Three, yeah. four. <laughs> Done. Go on. Look at that. Mm. And number one, is that a that was a panorama? It was, yes. Yeah. So it's it's the only one that's actually there that's not a single single image. And uh, because I really like it, but I really don't like the fuzzy thing in the bottom. Mm. It really distracts from it, in my opinion. So how would you think of cropping it a bit? <coughs> um, just, just looking at. I don't know how much space you have. See, see, this is the. Oh. Uh, <laughs> so I've already already taken it a bit, but uh, yeah, let's uh, take in a bit more and. Just as an experiment. Mm. 
for me this works better mm. yeah no i agree and there's still a little bit of out of focus yep. here but it's not as prominent not as prominent now you know you yeah. can see oh no it's this because you focus on the background you know the yeah. women or not and before it was half of the image that was yeah. fuzzy you know out of focus yeah this because this i really like now now it's more it's easier on the eye if you can say something like that no i think you can and you just did so <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's be brutal. Let's say, which one of these two do you like the most? Best. I like number one best. Okay. Because yeah. of the roof. I like the roof. Go on. <laughs> and it's, it's funny, actually, because I went to that location because of the other building. Um, but I just, I spotted this one on the side of the road. I hope nobody was home and it wasn't actively being lived in. When I was shining, it doesn't look like it's, it's no, it's no, it's it's not, which is good. But um, but yeah, it's, you have that moment when you're in the middle of nowhere, dark, and you decide to shine a light on potentially someone's house and <laughs> end up with. Maybe it's just my mind goes, you know, gets too imaginative no, when I get out it's, there by myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then it all of a sudden it becomes quite eerie. Yes. <laughs> Okay, here's, here's another that uh, things it's of the same subject. I like the left one better than the right one because of the color. Yeah, I I was agreeing. Look at that, we're down to 15. Only three more to go. As a theme, a re within the theme, 16 to me doesn't really add up. This one, 15? No, uh, oh, sorry, 10. 10, yeah. Yeah, I missed the... Yep. Uh, yep. Although I really do like the image, but within the theme, it doesn't really match. Mm. But this is how Australia looks to me in my mind, so that's why... <laughs> well, it is. Actually, that's... um. I actually went there to take uh, photos at night. That was on a friend's farm, so um, mm. yeah, I didn't get any Milky Way shots. I... I thought I'd worked it out that the Milky Way was going to be down, looking down that river, but um, mm -hmm. it wasn't. So <laughs> I'd messed up my east and west slightly. Uh, <laughs> just, just somewhere just, else completely. Yeah, I was like, hang on, it's over the other side there. Okay, let's try and make that work. <laughs> hmm. Oh. 14. Hmm. How much have you already done to this one? Uh, I've done a bit of editing um, in, yeah, just to bring out the Milky Way a little bit, but, um, but yeah, this was and a single. Uh, not much. I might have lightened it slightly. Um, yeah, I don't think I did too much to that one. I really like the color in this one from the in the Milky Way. So you can see the purple mm. and then some of the greens and and also in the big panel oh you did on the top left. I think the Milky Way was great, but I really like the 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 galaxy, I think. In the top left, the cloud. Which was in the other photo you we called uh, uh, the yes. one with a lot of effort. <laughs> yes, yes, that one. Yeah, yeah. So that that would be off to the left here. It wouldn't actually yeah. have made made this image. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Because I think it's really lovely, lovely, lovely. You have the Milky Way shot. Mm -hmm. But there's lit there's quite it's mm, how do you say a lot of, even the other Milky Way shots are quite light mm. because you especially in the building you light painted it you light painted the building I think 
Yes. And uh, oh yeah, yes, you did. You said so. Yeah. Uh, but number fourteen, you didn't. So it's quite dark. Yeah. So that's why I asked about: Have you done something to the photo on on the tree to make it stand out a bit more? Yeah. No, not specifically. I don't think so. I'd have to have a look. I I played with it a bit in Photoshop, but um. Mm. So that would be my because. It, it does tie in with the rest of the theme yep. with a single object, mm -hmm. but all the other objects are really strong. Yeah, and, uh, and here it, you, you, it somewhat loses it, itself in the in the background, also yep. with the other three trees. Mm -hmm. So that would be something to think about. Number nine, we haven't talked about number nine. No. How come? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look, it's to me, I suppose it, and it was when I was, wasn't sure whether it really fit. It was, um, actually, I took it with the macro lens as I was mm -hmm. sitting on the side of the hill waiting for the sun to set. So perhaps that's why it doesn't, it's different and it doesn't feel like it fits there um so yeah and again it was i was sitting on the side of a hill and just took it on this weird angle and I've, then i've taken it and taken a straighten up shot fixed the mm -hmm. horizon but um i actually liked the the angle one better and more just having the piece of grass yeah. or whatever it was but um but yeah you're right i'm not sure whether it fits the others all have a reflection of some mm. sort or uh, yeah this also is this object uh backlit well the others are also uh, as well like a single object yeah but this is really close up and the others are not mm. the others are taking more of a whole scene not just a, yeah. a more of an abstract shot yeah mm. So I'm I'm in I'm doubting about number nine. I'm pondering. Let's be bold. And what we'll do, we've got one more to cull, and then we can just run it through. Let's see. What do you think about the last one? Yeah, I don't mind the last one. If I was to cull one between these two. For me, I'd mm -hmm. probably look to cull the the one on the left, the daytime shot. But um, but yeah, that, that's more just because I I wasn't a super fan of the the bright sun and trying to help manage that amongst the canola. I thought it would make um so the canola is the the field of flowers there. I thought it would actually mm -hmm. um lighten and brighten them, and it does when you're when they're kind of front lit, but because they're back lit. They don't have that uh, the same vibrant color that they would and do kind of in the number one in, in that shot. Yeah, I understand. So, so yeah, for me that was probably the, the one out of the two images. I think I like the Milky Way one more, and that's probably because of my bias towards the night sky. Yeah. So why not call number the left one? Let's do that then. Done. Deleted. So what I might do then, let's try and reorder some of these. What if I was to do something like this? Let's run this through. Because almost as a sequence, you can kind of tie in from one to the next, maybe. Let's see. So I've got this image here with the the canola and the field mm -hmm. and the thing we swap we've got a bit of a tie in it's not as prominent so maybe i do need to work on the foreground on this one yeah maybe lighten it up a bit the, the yellows to make it more like the other yellow yep because that's a really vibrant saturated image yep yeah to the day time canola. sorry i'm just making myself some notes 
Um, and then swapping into a vertical here, it's a sunset. This is a similar image, or similar shades anyway. Um, mm -hmm. And then, yeah, I'm not sure how to, whether it's best to tie it in with that one. Then gone into, again, the water, but um, put a man-made object in there again now. And then that brings me across to another sunset with a man-made object. Mm -hmm. And then I can bring across the Milky Way with the man-made mm -hmm. objects there. And then I just completely swap to something different again. <laughs> um, so I might have to work on some of those transitions and things. But then I, I kind of looked at this and gone, right, okay, we've got trees by the water here. Um, Milky Way, trees water. in the water. Um, and then get into to this one, bringing back the water theme bringing back that. This is also man-made objects. So you could it is, yeah. move it earlier. So would that one then this, work as a... Uh, I would put it at dish. five. Put it there. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, we could tie the water. We've got water then, man-made objects, water. You can also see the, the wood grain in number five that resembles yep. the wood grain in six. Yeah, that's a good call. I yeah. Think. Yeah, yeah, you can see that the, bit of the texture in the wood here. Yeah. And there. Which one needs a bit bigger? Okay. Maybe number 10, also earlier. Mm, three I had or something. I had That's, thought of what four or five. Oh, hang on, what if it's like this then? Oops. If you sequence it like this, so you have Milky Way, Milky Way, wood and water, and then I go into a bit of a wood and water theme for a while before bringing in. That leaves this one twelve kind of by itself. Yeah, but it also closes down because it's uh, you yeah. end with the sun, it's set picture. Ending with the sunset. Yeah, that's no, a good point too. It feels like closure. Hmm. Excellent. Wow. We managed to get there, down to 12. Even I'm though you added one in. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but, but I was disciplined. I, I took it away. Took it away again. <laughs> Although I did like that shot. Really like that shot. Spent way too long on that shot. Anyway, um, no, excellent. Um, any other general feedback? So I've got that feedback about number two, and I agree. I should lighten the um, foreground, especially to help tie it in a little bit. Um, um in the images. Mm, thinking about it now, would we'll try to lift the shadows in seven in the wood a bit. Okay. I think. Let me bring it up and we'll have a look. Yeah. It can be that it is uh, just through the through the screen share, but to me it yeah. looks rather dark. I know it is dark, of course, because it, it is. It's in but, shape, but it, yeah, I can see you can see a little bit of detail dark. there. But. Yeah, especially the, the where the water meets the meets the wood. Mm -hmm. That's where it's really, really dark. I think yeah. I would like it up a touch. Okay. Small little bit. But that's about it, because I think all in all, they're quite nicely balanced shots. Oh, excellent. Oh, thank uh, you. Thank you. Wow. Okay, we got there. Um, yeah. Excellent. Well, thank you very much for your time, Brian. Mm, yeah, no worries. I, uh, I'll i stop the recording and I'll say goodbye to anyone who's potentially watching this in the DR Canon or watching the recording. Um, and um, yeah, so thanks everyone. And I'll look forward to having a video or a critique soon with Glenn and with these images.